Hello everyone, welcome to the cloud network. Here uh, is a tutorial about how to install Linux Mint 18 version uh, that is the code name is XFCE uh, that is 64 bit which I am going to install in a watcher box. You can also install in VMware workstation also. All the download links and the <coughs> commands you can find below to my video in the description box. So let us begin the about the downloading procedure for downloading the virtual so first of all you can copy the link and uh, this uh, link in your from the description box to the browser and here is having the latest version 5.1.2 this is this people you can create and download here and you can find in my it cloud net channel about how to install this latest version of virtual box after downloading and installing virtual box, you need to download the Linux Mint XFC edition. You can download from this Sophia website. Is there. If you click on this download link, it will be redirected to your download page. It will be started automatically. About description, you can read here. You can see this has been updated 1st August 16 only. That's today itself has been updated this one. And you can see this uh, home page is there. And the distribution categories, everything is there. Uh, scroll down to find about more thing about this one and download this one which I have already been downloaded. So this is my virtual box and just click to paint XFCE. Uh, you need to select your 64 bit and 32 bit which you have downloaded your ISO image 32 bit or 64 bit. Once you select it, if you are not getting 32 bit, uh, there is a video on how to enable VTX that is virtualization and uh, technology you need to enable in the BIOS on your uh, laptop or the desktop or server. After that, enabling you will be get 64 bit options. Assign the RAM at the last of green point. If you assign this. This is a hard disk which you need to give for the storage space. Uh, I am giving here 25 GB. You can give maximum. This is the location we is going to store. So <clears throat> I have location to create now. After you need to go to settings here. Once you go to settings, you need to click on systems. Floppy. And then go to storage here. Click on empty. Then you click on you choose the ISO image where you have downloaded so I have been assigned this SFC E64 bit ISO image you need to click on network and select your bridge when you select the bridge adapters you need to select this one if you press ok you need to click on start now so you can see automatically booting just avoid that automatically booting press any key to avoid that one and here is about the procedure uh, just select Linux Mint and press and enter now you can see we came on your uh, desktop uh, before installing your Linux Mint you can test Linux Mint satisfy with this uh, Linux Mint edition or not so you can verify this your home page everything to install Linux just double click on this small icon you can see on the screen uh, it will be uh, we need to select the uh, language here for uh, welcome installation language to select your language and click to continue here and then we need to select the Preparing for the installation Linux Mint. Uh, if you want to check this option, you can check and skip this one step. But now we don't. Repeat. And this is the main part we can on the installation type. If you are installing in a completely hard disk, that means if you are installing in a laptop, desktop, so take a backup of your data before continuing the installation. So then continue with the remaining procedure. You can also install with the drive or the CD also. Just select this option. If you want to manually reset partition, you can select this option to install now, and it will ask to confirm this one, continue or go back. So here is a two partition has been created, extension for and swap. Just select and then move on to 
time we need to select the next one is your time zone it will come so I'm selected the time zone continue here you need to click again continue keyboard layout we need to give your your name and computer name and the username and the password so please give a strong password here please remember the password while giving and you can give any name you give you can check automatic login also and now it will be take your installation time that means it will take 30 minutes installation. if you have any kind of work you can go ahead and back to then i will show you the uh, full screen resolution and complete screen. so now installation completed i am going to install it now you get uh, this one is what you have to just close the virtual box. But you need to remove the installation media drive or if you are installing from all CD DVD. Just go to settings here. Okay, and then start it now. Uh, login here. Just have <coughs> the password here. Let's check full screen resolution. Uh, scroll down this way. Okay, uh, that is working. Uh, let's make full screen. <coughs> so here you can see this is full screen resolution is more working. This is our next main channel. So thanks for watching my video. If you have any problem, you can comment below to my video.